Today we're going to make a crawler style lure. Now I just learned about these things. I think they're super ancient plug style. They're like little metal clampy clamp things that go like this and kind of walks the lure forward in a ridiculous looking fashion and the bass can't stand it. I'm going to put this thing together and it's going to be awesome. So let's, let's whittle. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool obviously the fins aren't on there yet but we'll work on that in a sec right now I'm gonna switch gears and do a big old scale pattern across this thing I did notice as I was showing a friend the pictures of this that I totally screwed up and I made a traditional swim bait style joint seam thing whoops the way this thing's gonna ride is like this not like this so I need to kind of mess with that. Anyways, I'm going to do some scales. Oh snap, that burned the crap out of it. This joint right here, yeah, that's totally wrong for what I'm trying to accomplish here. So I'm gonna actually fix that. Finally putting a weight to good use in a while. So I just did not record the cool little flippy flips right there. Check those guys out. Whoop, there goes the back. Hang on. Now to figure out what else to do. There you go. That's way more nerve wracking than you think.
So the paint job is complete. It is now time for clear coat. And that means I'm gonna be using the old trusty Devcon two ton. I've seen this online for uh, lure finishing posts. And yeah, it seems to be a good thing. I've used it once before and it's pretty bulletproof. I'm here with my awesome assistant, Keston. Hi. And uh, we are spinning this thing up, getting it ready for finish. So now it is time to mix one to one and get this done. Okay. No, that's the fuzzy. What are you doing? Yeah, here, this is like yours. Yeah, it, what? It's been a few hours and now it is time to pull these things off and assemble this bad boy. And then see if it actually works. So this is the strangest lure you might ever see made. This is a bluegill crawler. There you go. All assembled, glued, fins, everything's in. The fins are rough, but I don't care. I'm gonna go catch a fish. Let's go to the lake. I'm on the way to the lake right now, and I'm stoked because this lure came out really cool. Now. I have no clue if it's actually going to work, you know, like float or do any of that kind of stuff, but that's the goal. And it is late October and we've had really crazy unseasonable weather and I think it's going to be okay. There's a good shot I can find a top water bite in this shallow lake that I'm about to hit up. So let's do it. <laughs> that is it right there. We're going to see if this bad boy works, see what it actually does. It floats. Oh boy, not good. That's hideous. <laughs> fail. Massive fail. Well, that was a huge fail. Not a huge fail, I mean it looks absolutely gorgeous and it's going to be a beautiful thing for my wall uh, just to look at, but maybe on the next one. Uh, it was fun to make this, I'm glad you came along for the ride. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing this video, much appreciated and yeah, I'll try again. Now I'm going to finish this day off by fishing some of the other lures I've made on this channel and I'll put a link to those right here. Catch you on the next one.